Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Talkers Magazine calls Jim Blassingame one of the best talk show hosts in the industry. Now remember, I do my best work when I'm being worshipped as a guy. He's Jim Blassingame, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34, after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you. Very excited about having our good friend Joanne Black back on the show. Joanne is a Long-time member of our Brain Trust. Golly, coming up on seven years as a member of our Brain she, She's America's leading authority on referral selling, as we have learned over the years. She's the author of No More co Cowling. Also, that's the name of her company. And she's our good friend, Joanne Black. Welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks, Jim. It's always a pleasure to have you back, Joanne. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, has been interesting about the, the the shift between what I call the age of the seller from the age of the seller to the age of the customer is the process of getting qualified leads has changed considerably, hasn't it? It has, and there's a lot of misconceptions about that as well. And this is one of the things, you know, a lot of, in, in, my, in my day, Joanne, I didn't have anybody to get me qualified leads. I had to go out and get them myself. My, the companies I worked for, didn't hand me leads and say, here, now go close these people. I never had that benefit. But a lot of companies are doing that more now. They're, 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 they're doing the prospecting for their, for their salespeople. But when the salespeople show up, a qualified lead is not what it used to be, is it? Well, it's not qualified. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, exactly. So what's going on? Oh, there's there's a, a sense of entitlement that I have seen in many, many companies that well, marketing is going to supply us with leads, so right. we can just sit back and wait for those to arrive. Yeah, and well, all i got to do is just, is, just, is just turn on my charm and close them. <laughs> well, that's right. But what's happened is, and every company I speak to, I said, is your company getting you qualified leads? And if I'm, I'm speaking to an audience, they all laugh. Mm-hmm. I mean, they laugh, Jim, because they're not qualified mm-hmm. just because someone has been to your website downloaded a white paper, attended a webinar, you know what pages they've clicked on mm-hmm. on your site, mm-hmm. does not mean they're qualified. They're, they're called suspects. Suspects, well, yes. That's what I call them is suspects. Yes, suspects. I mean, they may be just curious. They may, they may be genuinely interested. Mm-hmm. They might be the competition. Yeah, You don't know. Now, is all of this important? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we need to have a presence for our company, a brand. We need marketing Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, for small businesses, if we don't have a marketing department, I don't have a marketing department. Um, We we need to have a site that people come to. They read what we have. They attend our webinars, all of that. But that doesn't mean they're qualified. But it's still important to have that as our foundation. Now. Go ahead. How do you get qualified leads? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's the question. You know, we wait. And and and, and the process time. of identifying those people, that's what's changed, has And the 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 and and the the and I and I mean the whole process, the whole act, the whole discipline of getting a qualified prospect is different than it was even ten years ago. I, I don't know. I think for salespeople, if we really assume the role we're supposed to have, which is generating our own qualified leads, I think the process is very similar. What's changed is all the technology that can move us off track. Well, or or move the customer off track. The reason I was saying it's different, Joanne, because I've done quite a bit of work on this myself too, and that is that that, um, in the old days, you could actually get in to see people and you could qualify them in front of them, in, in, you know, face to face. Now, getting in the door to be able to determine if they're qualified—that's that's the challenging part, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And and so that's what I mean when I say the activity mm. to get to that point 
is is it takes a lot longer. It takes more. It takes more intention, doesn't it? It takes intention. I'm not sure it takes longer because you can generate your own qualified leads, and you know that it's our job to do that as salespeople. Mm-hmm. And the best way to do that, well, Jim, you know the answer because you said it in the introduction, is when you receive a referral and get introduced to the person you want to meet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is huge, and it is under leveraged. Mm-hmm. And, and the the amazing thing to me is I participate in some online discussions. The other day there was one, and that was the question: How do I generate qualified leads? Mm-hmm. Before I piped in, I looked at the other responses. Hold on to the hold on to that thought. We're going to pick that up after this break. I want to make sure you have plenty of time to, to explain that. We're going to talk about that, folks. That's the question: How do I gener- generate qualified leads? After these messages with Joanne Black, 20 till, I'm Jim Blasting Game. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.